Do you have key business data you need to keep on top of? If so, check out the new business dashboard feature in Sage 50 Cloud Accounts version 28. Dashboards are really straightforward to set up. You can choose from dashboards we've provided for you, or you can create your first dashboard from scratch. They're easy to use and customizable too, giving you a truly personal experience. You can even share dashboards with your colleagues, so they're great for company collaboration. Do you want to see the new dashboard feature in action? Let's take a look. From the left menu, click Business Dashboard. This is the welcome page, giving you options on how to get started. You can choose to create a dashboard from scratch or use one of the preset templates. Business Overview, Supplier Overview or Customer Overview. Select the dashboard or dashboards you want and click Choose the selected dashboards. This will create a dashboard based on your selection, with some widgets reflecting the required information. To customise this further, in the top right click Edit. Take a look through the list of available widgets and when you find what you want, click Add Widget. Alternatively, you can drag the widget from the list and drop it on your dashboard. This edit mode is to edit the dashboard as a whole, so to add or remove widgets, or resize widgets by dragging the bottom right corner. When you're happy with your selection, click Finished Editing. If you want to change the name of any widget on the dashboard, in the top right of the widget, click the Settings cog. Now set the name for this widget. You can also change the criteria for this widget. For example, for top customer, you can choose to view it by outstanding balance or turnover. This edit widget mode is to edit this widget specifically. As you can see, all other widgets are greyed out. When you're happy with your changes, click the tick icon. There is a button on the top right to copy your dashboard as a screenshot to your clipboard. Then you can paste this to share the information outside Sage. So, for example, in an email. To create a new dashboard from scratch, in the top right, click New Dashboard. Give this a name and click Create. As this is a brand new dashboard, there are no widgets to start you off. Instead, from the centre, click Add a Report Widget. Follow the same process as earlier. Take a look through the list of available widgets. Then when you find what you want, click Add Widget. At any point you can share your dashboards with other Sage users. From the top right, click Share Dashboard. You can give other users view only access or view and edit access. When you're happy with your selection, click Save. Other users access shared dashboards from the Shared Dashboards heading. Any created themselves will be in My Dashboards. As you can see here, the user with view only access can see the information and refresh the widgets, but that's all. The user with view and edit access has the same options as the original creator. The dashboards are linked, so if another user goes to edit mode, it will force other users to refresh. So when a user is in edit mode, or is editing a widget, exclusive rights come into effect. For example, if I'm editing a shared dashboard, other users will see this message advising this is being edited. When I save the changes to the dashboard, the other user will see this message stating they need to update the dashboard. When on the dashboard's menu, if you need more room to work, you can collapse the sidebar. To further customise dashboards, when in edit mode, you can simply drag and drop your widgets, giving you a truly personal experience. To set Business Dashboard as your initial view, from the top menu, click Tools, Options, then open the View tab. From the initial view drop-down menu, select Business Dashboard. So now you've seen Business Dashboards in action, to start using this exciting new feature, please install Sage 50 Cloud Accounts version 28 
available from October 2021.